What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, but I wanted to come to you today with some, like an impromptu video with some 2023 photo goals. I realize I haven't made a photo goal video since early 2020. We all know what happened there, so, but I feel like now is, you know, I'm, I'm feeling very motivated, very excited for 2023. So I thought I would have some accountability for myself, make a video. Also, I'd love to hear from you guys. Like, what are your photo goals? If you have any, leave them down below. I'd love to hear from, hear what you guys have going on. But I made a list. So let's, let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, this, this one has been a goal basically since I moved to LA. I'm re-energized to follow this dream, if you will, but to get into the local 600 union which is the still photographers union it's actually the cinematographers union but still photographers are under that umbrella i got some really awesome opportunities in 2022 and i i realized that i want to I, I don't want to give up on this i want to be a photographer on on tv and movie sets mostly tv the gig i have now is pretty awesome i think tv's what i want to do what, where i want to go with it but of course i'll do a movie you know, if, if it's, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to say no to anything that's, you know, a, a great opportunity, but I really enjoy working in TV, whatever that means, whatever that looks like. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting it out into the universe and actually going to be actively trying to get days to get into my union. So lo local, what do you need to do to get into the cinematographers union, at least for still photographers, is I need to accrue 100 non-union days on set or 30 union days on set. Right now, I probably have a handful. It's that's why it's like a it's been pretty frustrating goal to meet, but I'm gonna do my best to go down any avenue I need to go down, make connect connections, and just book work. <laughs> the main 2020 2023 goal is to just get on set as much as I can so that's goal one ah so goal number two is to take it back to my photo roots I really enjoy shooting musicians bands um, artists I like doing promo stuff so like setting up a promo shoot before I moved to LA I worked with a ton of bands I would reach out and just say hey I would love to do a shoot kind of for my own personal portfolio and I really miss that and I was telling a friend recently that I've been kind of like frozen and stuck when it regards to that because I feel like I haven't done it in so long. I'm like nervous about it. Like it's a big ordeal to like, you know, offer a service and then you got to follow through. You know what I mean? So, but I, I really did enjoy it and it was really the most fun work I've ever made. So I plan on, you know, I actually have a friend of mine, a band that's already said yes. That was the first nerve wracking thing. I got a yes. So now I have to follow through and I'm super excited. And of course, I obviously this time around want to shoot, shoot it mostly on film, probably all the way on film. Um, I used to do half, you know, half digital just to play it safe, but I really want to go into these shoots with being a film photographer. That's the idea in mind. So that's goal number two. So I'm going to go full speed ahead on that. And okay. And then this one's a fun one. I'm actually going into business with my husband. We're going to launch a headshot business in 2023. He has been saying for a while now that he thinks film headshots would be really something interesting that actors would like. I don't know how I... F I, I was res resisting it for a long time because I feel like it's kind of a waste. Not that it's a waste, but like... I, it was too niche that I didn't think anybody would see the value in it. But we recently shot some friends of ours. We rented a studio for the day and I shot a few rolls of film, a few rolls of headshots on film. And of course, I love it more than the digital. And now that's all I want to do. I want like, let's go full bowl. And let's like just a headshot business on film. Why not? Let's pretend it's the, <laughs> the 90s. But that probably won't be lucrative. So we're going to offer that as a specialty. And I'm excited. It's exciting to, like, he's going to be the businessman. I'm going to be the artist talent, if you will. And we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to, yeah, just 
I'm excited to freelance in general. The, the, the whole like theme of 2023 for me is just to be a freelance photographer out on, on top of being a full time mom. Um, I'm excited to, this is the first time in my life where I've had the opportunity to not have a job and for to let photography be my job. Like I'm a professional photographer. So that just feels really good even saying out loud. So I should write that as a goal. <laughs> just that's who I am. I'm a professional photographer. And the last goal I have, obviously, is to come back to YouTube. I have been so fortunate that, that you know, I, we Timothy and I have been doing Analog Talk for five years now, which is insane to think about. But I also really love doing this channel, and I want to come back in a in a really strong way I this this is kind of an um, impromptu video but I want I want it to be high production I want it to be good content I want to like collaborate with people um, so so yeah I've been like writing all these ideas down for the YouTube and I, I, I miss it I miss it miss it miss it miss it so that's been on my mind for for probably it's been a year I think almost I think my last video was right after I had Benjamin so it's been it's been a while but I miss it and it's something that I'm committing to as well in 2023. So hopefully now that I've said it out loud, I've made a video that I will, I'm just gonna have to do it now because it's out in the universe. Like I said, I'm super excited for 2023 professionally and I'm excited to shoot and make work and make, make you know, connections and relationships and you know, all the, all the things all the things. I mean, the, the ultimate goal would be to have a studio space. That's always something that I still have like on the like life goal list would be have a space. So we'll see. Yeah. And, and the other thing, last little thing I'll say that I've been trying to like just force myself to do, not really, <laughs> not really, but I want to shoot more film. That sounds crazy because I've, I'm shooting a lot of film, but I've, I've, I really want to like make a point to not use my phone as much because once you have a baby I mean my phone is full of I've like 14,000 photos on my phone which like, that's great I'm glad I'm documenting my son in a way that like our our parents weren't able to you know but I still want to make the conscious choice like choice to let me grab the film camera you know don't always just grab the phone so I want more film photos of my my little guy so that's kind of shoot more film in 2023 is also you know mentally a goal that i'm gonna do and that's basically it i'm gonna shut up now uh, i just want to say you know happy new year i wish everybody safe safe new year safe 2023 um i hope you guys are shooting lots of work that you're excited about as well and thank you for watching thank you for sticking with this rambly video and I will see you guys in 2023. All right. Bye.